hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Juliet so in today's video I will be making a princess that padded blouse that is overlapping so if you're interested please keep on watching my fabric here is folded into two so I used the bust measurement I'm working with divided by four plus extra five inches of allowance and then another six inches for the overlapping allowance so here I just marked that six inches all the way down and I ruled the line as for the length it is the shoulder to the half length plus one inch so next from that middle line that is going to be my center front so I'm marking the shoulder measurement that I am working with from there and then I marked my armhole using my ruler now I'm connecting all the points together and I will go ahead and curve the armhole as you can see so everything from now on is the same as you would a normal princess dart just that it's going to start from that line in the middle so that is going to be our center front so I just marked the shoulder slope I went in by 3 inches from that line and then I came down by half inch on the armhole line and I connected in a slant here I'm marking the shoulder to nipple and then the shoulder to under bust and I'm going to use my ruler to connect those lines together as you can see. So next from that same line, everything we're doing is from that 6 inches line. So I'm marking the nipple to nipple I'm working with divided by 2 plus half inch. I marked the same thing all the way down and I connected. So from that under bust line, I marked one and a half down to the length and I'm connecting with the ruler. Next, I'm going to make a curve to the bust point like so. So next on this armhole point, you're going to measure your armhole and then get the middle. Then you connect the line like so and then mark one inch on both sides of that line and connect back to the bust point. But I didn't like how this was looking, so I wiped it out and then I marked two and a half inches from the shoulder. Two and a half inches from the shoulder and then I connected to the bust point. This sat better. Marking the middle of your armhole is okay, just that this one curved a little too much for me. That's why I changed it that is fine so on this down line the last line I'm going to extend it in a slant like so and then mark two inches I will extend it by two inches for making sure it's in a slant from there I curve the new armhole so next I'm marking the neck width that I'm working with which is three and a half inches you can make it three if you are making for a really slim person let's see bust of 30 and below I mark three and a half here and then I am cutting I'm going to cut this out first before finishing the front piece so if this is your first time on this channel thank you so much for stopping by please hit on the subscribe button I upload new videos every week Thank you. So after cutting, the next thing I'm going to do is to shape the front. So from this line, I'm marking 7 inches, which is the neck depth. I'm going to connect to that 7 inches all the way to the 3.5 inches I marked for the neck width. After cutting that out, this is what the center front is looking like. Also, you're supposed to notch the midpoint. I forgot to notch the midpoint, so I placed it back and I'm going to notch that. It's very important. It's going to help us when joining later. So I've notched the midpoint. I'm going to place both midpoints on top of each other like so. And this is how it will look when we're done so i'm going to place this now on the main fabric that we're working with and then i will cut it out the same shape so this is it one of it is going to have a lace over it 
and then the other is going to be the ankara alone so i've cut all the pieces as you can see next i'm going to be cutting the pad so i'm placing the center front on the breast pad i'm working with so this part facing up is the part without the glue the smooth part so placing my tape i am marking seven inches from the shoulder and i'm going to curve that side like so and then from there i will mark the nipple to nipple measurements i'm working with half of that and then i'll make a curve like so so this is for the center piece We're going to be needing two of this so i'm going to place this on top of this breast pad again and cut another one so i'm going to make sure that the smooth side is facing the smooth side while i cut the second piece that way they are going to fit on the opposite side if not you will have um, a part that is for the same side like two of them will be for the same side of the front piece so for the sides, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to place the underbust measurement I'm working with on the underbust here. And then I will trace 8 inches up and trace or curve out the side. And then I will mark the nipple, nipple, nipple to nipple measurement again divided by 2 and curve like that. After which I will cut this out. Then place it again on my pad and cut the second piece for this again you should make sure that you're placing the smooth face on top of the smooth face or the part with the glue particles on top of the same part so this is how i'm going to place it and then i will glue it on top of this piece it glues better when you iron from the right side just like i'm doing so here i am trimming off all the tiny pieces that are hanging out and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the second side piece after arranging it i will iron it down that's going to activate the glue and then I will trim off the tiny pieces that are hanging out. So for the center piece, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to place the I'm going to place my tape and mark the underbust, which is where the part is going to sit. So I just used my chalk to make a mark there, and then I'll place the breast pad on it like so. And then iron the same way I did the side pieces. Trimming of the excess pieces hanging, we're doing the same thing for the second piece. So after ironing the pad on all the pieces like so, the next thing we're going to do is go join the front pieces together. So I'm placing the lace fabric on this piece, like so, and then the side piece as well. So we're going to go join from the down part, join the dots together like that, all the way up. And then we'll do the same thing for this second piece without the lace. So next I'm going to be cutting the back piece now. This is the fabric I'm working with divided by, it's folded into two, sorry. And I'm using the bust measurement I'm working with divided by four plus extra five inches. Here I'm marking the zip allowance, which is one and a half inch. I marked it all the way down and I'm using my ruler to connect all of the points. So from that zip allowance line, I'm marking half of the shoulder measurement I'm working with. Like so, and then I'm marking the armhole. Next, I'm going to curve the armhole like so. And then from that zip allowance line again, I mark 3 inches in. And on the armhole line, I marked half inch down. I'm going to connect both points together in a slant. Next, I'm marking the neck width, which is 3.5 inches. And then the neck depth, I marked 1.5 inches. 
I'm going to curve it like so. And then on this down part, I came in by half inch and then 8 inches from the shoulder. And I'm connecting like so. I'm going to trim that off. It's going to help eliminate the zip bulge. Next, I'm marking the dart from that zip allowance line. The dart is the bust bar measurement divided by 2 plus half inch. I just made a notch there and then I am cutting out the neckline and then the shoulder slant and then the armhole like so. Next, I'm going to cut off that um, slant and then open the back piece into two completely. I'm going to place this again on my lining. I cut out the same pieces and this is what we have. Next, I'm placing the lining on the right side of the fabric and we're going to go sew the neckline and the zip side using half inch. So after sewing the zip line and the neckline, I've turned it to the right, to the wrong side and I have ironed and this is what we have. So now I'm marking one inch which is the zip allowance that we are going to be working with now. After turning it with the lining, we have only one inch left. So next from the shoulder, I am marking eight inches down. That is where our dart is going to stop. That eight inches is one inch above the bust point. Then on the down part already, we have a notch. So I just connected to that notch. Next, we're going to repeat the same thing on this other side. I'm marking one inch for the zip allowance. And then we're going to mark the dart from the shoulder, which is 8 inches, 1 inch above the bust point. Then the dart is the bust bar measurement divided by 2 plus half inch. So I've connected that. We're going to go join the back pieces together at the zip allowance line. And then we'll hold the dart in, half inch from the down, and then slanted out. So for, for the front pieces, I have joined the darts together and I have ironed them. This is what we have. I did the same thing for the lining. So next we're going to place the lining on the right side of the front pieces. We're going to go sew this side, which is the neckline. We'll do the same thing for the other front piece. So after sewing that, this is what we have. I've ironed it nicely and this is what... The front pieces are looking like next i'm going to place them on top of each other i'll place that notch the notch is on both of them so making sure the notches are sitting on top of each other i'm going to pin the down part in place like so and then i will hold the neck part as well next i'm going to mark the measurements we're going to be using so starting from this zip line this is the back piece i'm going to mark quarter of the bust measurement up here and then down here, starting from the zip line as well, I will mark quarter of the waist measurement. That's the half length round. Using my ruler, I connect both points together. And then I'm repeating the same thing for this opposite side. Bust divided by 4 on the upper part and half length round divided by 4 on the down part. All starting from the zip line. Next, I open it up and I check from one line to the other to confirm if I have half of the waist measurement and then 